Hello everyone, I am Sketch McCaw and I just made a new mod, McCaw's Fences and Walls. So, let me show you everything this new mod includes. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and if you want to get notified for new videos, just subscribe to my channel. First up, we have the picket wooden fence. This fence has every log variation. These picket fences look very good for your houses. They are made to look very decorative and a bit better than the classic vanilla ones. It can be crafted in vanilla too, this is the recipe for it. Next up we have the horse fence. I named it like this because it really fits for countryside themed buildings or just for horses. I mean look at this, I really like the design for this one. And of course, here's the recipe for it. Let's move to the third fence, which is the very special wired fence. It works just like a normal fence, but it does one half damage per second if you touch it. This will be very useful to defend your base. And here we have the recipe for it. It is very simple. And the last wooden fence is the stocket fence. This one is made to look like a wooden wall, but a little bit more detailed. Here's the recipe, of course. So, these were all the wooden fences. Let's move to the new highly gates. These fit very well to the fences, I think they look better than the vanilla ones. Here's the recipe for the gate. And finally the new stone walls. First up we have a new railing stone wall. I love how this design came out, it looks very good in cities for example. And here we have the recipe for them. And the last wall is the modern stone wall. It is an improved version of the vanilla stone wall. I wanted them to be more detailed because the vanilla walls are just like a half slab. Here you go, this is the recipe for it and the last for today. So that's all for the first version of McCall's fences and walls. If you enjoyed this showcase be sure to leave a like and subscribe. A lot of new mods and updates are coming this year so stay tuned and if you have any suggestion feel free to leave a comment. And lastly a big thanks for my patreons, love you guys. See you soon, bye!